Oh, Denmark's eliminated. Uh, oh my God. Denmark was given to the German Slovak Republic. That's weird, but okay. I can't see the fighting in Italy, but I see that Italy is losing the land that it took from France, as well as some of its own territory, mainly just mountains, no actual cities yet. Uh, and now Germany is also invading the Netherlands. Wonderful. And the Netherlands, even throwing in the Netherlands, you know, all of these countries and still nobody can stand up to Germany. Is this what everyone was thinking, looking at the fucking map in real life at this time? Probably. <laughs> Holy fucking Jesus. Troops still pushing in on Italian, but the fronts have kind of stabilized. They're still pushing hard south, though. And as for the Netherlands, they're actually putting up a pretty good fight. Ah. But only, it's only. I was looking in there. I wouldn't say they're putting up a good fight. They have a lot of troops, yeah, but these are qua uh, quantity over quality. They're just running out and meeting the German invaders. They're not doing a good job, really. So if Hitler declares war on Spain, will you honor your alliance? <laughs> I don't think he will. He might. I don't think he will. Um, how whether I honor it or not, I could literally declare war and then peace out uh, because I have nothing over there to fight the Germans anyway. Realistically, I'm just going to have that whole theater be a, hey, my military, don't go over here kind of setting. What happened to the tanks I had to... Whether I'm at war with Germany or not wouldn't matter. So the Netherlands... Well, I guess... Wait, who... The Netherlands may be doing better than I'm giving them credit for. I don't know where or how, though, because the Netherlands has actually killed 95 units and only lost 45. Where are they getting kills? Is it in the Navy? Are they actually getting kills on land? Because their military is not that good or that big. The Germans are definitely pushing into the Netherlands, though. No matter how much of a fight the Netherlands puts up, the Germans are just unstoppable right now. Yeah, it's only going to be a matter of time until they're gone. Oh, the Italians are losing their land now, too. God, even fighting its own sphere, Germany's dominating. They are, they have 160 million population already. Oh, my God. When you don't take China into account, they are the third largest country. They have well past you. They're on their way to passing me. And then easily the USSR at this rate. Holy crap. What do you th what are your thoughts about this? We better all start learning to speak German. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, we may have to make our own alliance just to defeat Germany because if Germany stays this aggressive, I mean... He'll come for us. <laughs> Especially you over there. You've already seen he's willing to betray Italy. Imagine what he'll do to you. Well, luckily for me, I don't have an alliance with him, but I'll make, him, I'll make it work this time. Yeah, the Italians are starting to lose their towns now, not just their French-taken towns. The Germans have mostly backed off from the Netherlands for a moment. That's weird.
search. I gotta hurry up and get these things. Dunkirk Mussolini. <laughs> he Dunkirk Mussolini? Basically. <laughs> oh, Tangier's gone. Spain has annexed Tangier. Yeah, he's got uh, a lot of Italian forces cut off on by, uh, oh, never mind, he just took Marcel. That's where they were trapped. <laughs> It's coming out, oh my god. So many. Is it flung from like all the other wars? Well actually Norway's still alive. Did he just give up on Norway? I'm not seeing any more fighting over Norway. He's out of supplies. All Does he still have troops up there? Yeah, he's still got troops, but they're all stuck. Okay. Supplies. I guess he's really just wanting to focus on Mussolini for right now. God, they're like ants. It's like a giant line of German ants. <laughs> I wish I could see this. This is hilarious. This is not how I thought this playthrough would go at all. <laughs> Put a couple spies. But this is so much fun. <laughs> Put spies in Italy. Yeah, they're gonna die anyway. I'm, o I'm okay with uh, I'm okay with hearing your version of events. Oh my God! Yeah, that just looks like the whole German army is in Marcel. There's still more coming. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they've taken that whole French area. The Italians by the northern part of the Swiss Alps. Uh, that line is pretty much stable. Looks like the Germans are opting to go around to the uh, French east side. Or the west side, sorry. Yeah, I see, I see. Well, Italy may not live long enough to even invade, invade Greece. How sad. Mussolini's military approval rating is faltering. All right, well, time to get back to my <laughs> doing my things over here. <laughs> Boy, I haven't been paying attention or something. Anything interesting happening on the map? <laughs> oh, about ready to start a war with Indochina, maybe. Maybe. Oh, good. Intelligence Agency and Security Bureau finished. And now I can actually start catching some spies. Sweet. Finally able to research the zero without damn time. <laughs> At least in terms of early. time before I declare just let my treaty integrity build back up. Dude, Indochina 
their military approval rating has literally more than halved without anyone even doing anything to them. Well, I wouldn't say anybody not doing anything to them. I might be an elf. Oh, you're funding insurgency? Yes. <laughs> Hitler's making another big push across the Alps of the north. Oh, well, that's pretty interesting, yeah. His wars are slowing down, though. Like, he's not making much progress in Norway. He's not making a lot of progress in the Netherlands. And he's making slow progress with Italy. He's probably pretty stretched thin right now. Yeah, it seems like If anyone wanted to invade him, this would certainly be the time to do it. <laughs> Russia, <coughs> come on. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Netherlands is pretty much still holding the line, but Germany is making some small minor... Netherlands only holds the line whenever Germany redirects its troops to go somewhere else. Netherlands' actual military is basically wiped out. They're relying on garrisons. Yeah. They are max garrisoned out, but that's about it. Just think, as more time goes by, that Germany is only going to declare more wars. Same with Italy, if they live. I don't think Italy's gonna live. Well, it's safe to say Germany has both military uh, milcap penalties, and they're not gonna lose them anytime soon. Nope. They have the most naval production in the entire world, meaning inevitably they will have the strongest navy in the world. Germany, can you believe that? <laughs> The world is really, really short on industry goods, have you noticed? Yeah, that's why I'm glad I'm making a positive production now. Are you, uh, are you selling? Like, to the world on the market? Yep. The price is, uh, pretty, pretty nuts. It still has me as an importer. Oh, well, because you're importing from China. Oh, yeah, that'd be why. Uh, yeah, I'm selling a little bit. Top importer right now is the Netherlands. Looks like Hitler, if he's making progress anywhere, he's making it in Italy. He's taking some of their military production as well. Oh yeah, he's pushing way right down south. He's almost at um, Vienna. He's about ready to come up and take um, the city of that one. For uh, Portly? Oh, there we go. He's in. He's fighting on garrisons. He's not moving any of his forces off the southeast, southwestern front. What do you mean? Uh, they're just holding. Who? Uh, Marcel. The Fiora. He's not moving any of his. Oh. He's not advancing from Marcel? 
Looks like you shift all the attention to the other flank. Well, he better wrap up before he declares war on the USSR next year. just like on standby, they're not doing it. My military bar, without even being at war, is almost as big as Germany's. Oh, he signed a ceasefire with South Africa. One more Dominion country left. It's literally just Australia he has to sign a ceasefire with now. Holding strong, he cannot breach the. He cannot breach Ravina. That whole southern line right there is cutting him off. He's making some small advances in the west. What he needs to do is just decisively focusing on ending one of his three wars. If he can decisively end one of his three wars, he can refocus a lot of his troops. I was, um, originally, I was funding uh, insurgency on both Germany and Italy, but because I saw Italy's military approval was falling, I decided to stop funding on Italy, just to give them more of an even fight. Oh, I see. <laughs> I keep funding against like those that are winning wars because I want to even things out around the world. I'm trying to avoid there being one massive superpower like Germany. <laughs> Looks like he's about to literally cut Italy in half up at the top there. He's surrounding Milan and Genova and whatever all these other places are. Oh, he's starting to make a move in the south, too. I can see some of his units are rushing north. So Germany has lost 596 units since the start. Uh, and Italy's lost 545, the UK's lost 648, the Netherlands 139. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, it is. Europe is stagnating into a weird situation of war. I still will find it so fun if uh, the UK and Germany pieced out. That changes a lot. Oh, Churchill took over at some point, too. was after the encirclement. Anyway, he effectively cut off that little middle part right there. Right. 
that's a good treaty integrity to have before going to war. Like, what, about 70? Um, yeah, wait, treaty integrity? Well, that, that depends. You don't need any treaty integrity. Um, treaty integrity is only useful for foreign diplomacy. The lower it is, the faster it recovers. Essentially, if you want to make alliances, don't let it drop below 50. Oh, okay. Um, good then. But if, if you're not trying to make any allies or anything, it really doesn't matter. You said you were going to, um, annex this? Yep. Okay, good, because I was going to say, I don't know how you're going to deal with the fucking four loyalties that make up Indochina. It's not nearly as unified as China. <laughs> Bastard engineer snuck past me. <laughs> Let's check out our supply level. Okay, let the supply catch back up for a few minutes. What's that? Is that a. side of the goddamn river. Oh, where's my Air Force? 
worse. Fighters, bombers, there we are. I have a question. Yeah. Are you by any chance funding my government? No. Interesting. Okay. Okay, I see. Wow, the diplomacy screen did something weird there. I got really confused for a second. I would say so, yeah, I'm not from the funding your government. Coming in? Yeah. It's just... Oh, yes. Are you allied with Turkey too? Yes, I did. What, yours? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're just reaching into Hanoi. Are they putting up a good fight at all? Kind of. More supply issues than anything. Yeah. Makes sense. I see they've killed 31 units and lost 48. I assume most of the kills are, like, Chinese units, probably. Yeah. I'm surprised they're putting up any amount of a fight.
The Netherlands has lost pretty much their entire northern half. Their country remaining pretty much is just made up of garrisons. Italy has been completely cut off. Germany is now pushing down towards Rome. Italy's military bar is fairly high still, but it doesn't look like they have any chance of winning at this rate. Nope. Germany will grow and then they'll grow just in time to invade the USSR. Oh, the USSR has expanded its military production, actually. Oh, good for stuff. Maybe one more naval, but also three more land. <laughs> the UK is still actually trying to navally invade Germany, but they don't have enough troops. They're not sending enough troops anyway to even get past, like, garrisons. What they should try to do if they want to do anything is assist those that Germany's fighting rather than try to fight Germany themselves. It's funny how they actually tried doing that during the Napoleonic Wars and they still all lost. What, um... The UK trying to fight Germany? No, during the Napoleonic Wars. The UK basically kept supplying, like, uh, all of France's enemies with money, but they still took like, their ass. Which is even funnier when you realize their enemies includes, um, Prussia. Have you ever watched, uh, this one YouTuber called Oversimplified? Uh, yes, but not very much. Oh, I love his videos. 